What's going on everybody? We are officially on the road a little bit later than we really anticipated, but on the road nonetheless. And of course, we're low on fuel. And we didn't catch that until after we were out of town. But we've got one very upset mother over here dropping baby A off with Grammy so she can watch him while we go to Salina to Rodney Carrington. I'm gonna I'm gonna catch her cry before the end of the night. I'm not gonna cry. I want to cry, but I'm not gonna cry. You wanna cry. You're going to cry. You keep saying you're going to. But But we are like I said on our way to Salina. We're gonna go to the Stifle, Stiefel, whatever you call it, theater, and see Mr. RC, right? And we saw him in Wichita at the Intrust Bank Arena a few years ago. What? Did you see that? No. That dog was flinging around a rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I think she just witnessed the murder. <laughs> a dog was flinging around a rabbit back there at that house. I think it was a rabbit. Would sure. you like to explain it in detail? No. No? Okay. I don't want to go back to that. But we did see, like I said, Rodney at the Interest Bank Arena in Wichita. Uh, probably, what, four years ago now? Three or four years ago. And we ended up getting third row seats from a lady on Facebook. So that was pretty neat. Um, I'm sure this is going to be just as awesome of a show. I don't know where our seats are at because we did not get them ourselves or order them. And they are at the will call window. So we will meet up with Danny and Brandon and see what we can do and where we're going to be sitting. But um, yeah, it's going to be fun. Um, hopefully we'll get to Salina early enough so we can actually get some yeah. supper before that guy thought I was waving at him he waved at me <laughs> just hold my camera yeah. but uh, try to get something to eat before the show uh, that way we're not miserable during the show and then have to wait till afterwards but it's 7 to 10 showtime I guess it's 527 now so we're really going to be pushing it um, I don't know what other kind of stuff we'll have in between here and there, but I don't know. Maybe we'll have some windshield stories or something that we can tell while we're driving. But, but for now, she's going to sniffle away, and my arm is starting to hurt from holding up my camera. So I'm going to shut this thing off, and we will see you guys in a little bit. And we are back. For a moment it is 5 44 making good time somewhat got to rustle got some fuel only a little bit and now we are getting on to interstate 70 to head eastbound to salina kansas i don't know if that's a house it looks like a castle but we're gonna set the cruise and we're gonna go down this fine stretch of interstate that is very, very, very boring. And we're gonna get to Salina. We promised a friend that we would take him out to a birthday dinner because yesterday was his birthday. But I don't know if we're gonna get there in time to actually eat before the show because I thought the show started at eight, but it starts at seven. So we're gonna give him a call and see if he wants to do something and go from there, so stay tuned. Uh, we are back at it again, it's 6.31. We are jamming out to some skillet. And we just got a call about 10 minutes ago from Danny saying that she thought the show was at eight o'clock, which I don't feel as bad because I thought I was losing my mind and told Brittany the other day that I swore the first thing I looked at said the show was at 8, and then all of a sudden it was showing 7 the other night. 
So I'm glad we didn't ride with them, <laughs> but we're still not there, so we're not gonna have a chance to get supper. They're gonna haul balls from Great Bend to Salina because they still hadn't left yet and it was like 20 after six. And I just hope we'll be able to get our tickets at the window still since they're under her name. So that way we can at least get in and not miss too much of it and then they can get their tickets when they get there. But, uh, oh look, she's crying. I am not crying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's any signs that show how much farther we have to go, but I'm not seeing anything. We're at mile marker 248, Allstead Road. Now, I think we're only, what, like maybe five or ten miles out now? So we still got a little ways to go. Um, probably end up just grabbing a bite to eat with Danny and Brandon after, which we supper. got. Yeah, our supper right now are Nature Valley Crunchy Bars. But we'll probably go ahead and grab a bite with them afterwards. And then rush home to get little baby A, which he's just called mom. She's said he's doing pretty good. Um, he ate. He gets fussy when you turn him away from the TV. And he started spitting up when we were on the phone, so I let her go. But uh, yeah, we're, I guess we're just about three miles from Salina, so I'm gonna get off of here, and I don't remember exactly which exit we take. I think it's on Santa Fe Street, but I don't remember how to get there, because it's been like three or four years since we saw Weird Al there, and I need to get my navigation out. So, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a very busy night trying to cram all this in at the last minute, so uh, we'll <laughs> see how it all plays out. All right, we made it. You didn't get that on there, I don't worry. Get. She's singing Freak Show from Skillet. At 646, we're in the parking lot like half a block away from the Stiefel, Stifle, however you say it, I've heard it both ways. Um, my bladder is full, so I'm ready to go take a pee. Me too. And her sister called and said that we were going to be there to get the ticket, so we shouldn't have any problem getting the ticket, so fingers are crossed on that. And we're going to go enjoy a night with Rodney, and we'll get in there, have some fun, maybe have a drink or two, maybe, I don't know. Mm -hmm. And then we will grab some grub afterwards, so um, this is going to be exciting. Okay. We're on. Look who it is. We found these guys at the Rodney Carrington concert. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they showed up like 10 20 minutes, minutes late. late. 10 minutes late. You guys didn't they, He got started late, so you guys were later. You guys basically just heard, missed but, him making fun of himself for being fat. <laughs> yeah. And getting ridden hard by a fat girl with prickly stuff. But we're at the lobsters that are red, right? <laughs> right. Right. Right? The lobsters that are... Blue. Red. That are lobsters that are blue. Apparently they're blue. I don't know. Maybe they. <laughs> but uh, the show was pretty good. Now we're gonna spend some money and eat at Red Lobster, and they're gonna bring us the biscuits. That's the best part. What? You're gonna wait? No, say it on camera. No, it's I I can always cut it out if I need to. Say it. What? She's gonna puke. No. I can't breathe. You can't breathe, so what's, how is that personal? We'll discuss it later. <laughs> Rodney would want you to discuss it now. I think it's a There's little no important. shame. There's no shame right? in being yourself. It's like, oh, look how we're men tonight. But, what? I don't know. I was know. Mini, like... I guess we'll shut this off so she can discuss her personal stuff. And maybe, maybe we can get some funny stories to tell on camera. Maybe Danny has a funny one. Or Brandon. I stood in I chicken poo all day long. You stood in chicken poo? Yeah. How's it smell? Like chicken poo. Can we taste it? <laughs> hey, I'll let you lick my boots at home. Yeah, okay. Just make sure it's not like Rodney licking your balls and getting a boner on your... What? They're our guests present. You have got to be careful with what you say. 
I don't and have to be careful. Were there, but still. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're offended, the word vagina will be substituted for pussy. So. Could you imagine that, Danny? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? Okay. Or what? Well, we'll see you guys in a little bit. So they're talking about other restaurants to eat at when we're at Red Lobster. I just burnt the crap out of my mouth with one bite of some kind of chips and dip stuff that they said. Oh yeah, try it. It's good. It's good. They, she just said they came out. Yeah. It was hot. But this, look at this. This. That's the best part of dinner, right there. The biscuits. Yeah. But just for the record, my head and my face are hurting like crazy from laughing my butt off at the Rodney show. And they don't even care. But look at her. Yeah, is it hot? Is it hot? Yeah. Sounds hot. You hear over there going. <laughs> Sounds like Rodney when he's like. <laughs> <laughs> He snuffles too much. Yes, he does. He what? He, he snuffles. snuffles. Mm. He snorts through the mess. Mm. Mm. I'm totally putting that in there. <laughs> I'm just stuffing your face. You're stuffing your face. He did talk mm. about his ex wife a lot. Mm. That's where it's at. Yeah, that girl is just like, oh my god, I love you. I know I don't know you, but I love you. <laughs> How is it? I don't know. I haven't taken a bite yet. Good. It's good? Good. Are you sure? Delicious. You didn't get your cracker though, did you? No. You don't need one because you are a cracker. That's right. <laughs> We're just talking about bands and music and the cotillion oh, yeah, and Wichita, which is fun. But here's my meal. Our special guest is homebrew. <laughs> yeah. Which is the same night as our Christmas party. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. But ours is a lot longer. Right. What time is this? Six to whenever. Is it good? Ours starts at 530. Not bad. We got the same thing. No, I so know. we're gonna yeah. chow ours down. Oh. Red Lobster. Did you just get Brandon doing that whole little... I don't know, did I? Oh. What did I do? I don't know. Oh. Whoa. He was cool. Oh, well, it's getting late. We're leaving this place. Red Lobster. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Uh, I don't even know if I can. Bye. I want to roll to the car. Bye. You want to roll to the car? Roll. We're Doesn't going to. Come pick me up. <laughs> Just remember you can't jack off with your feet here. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you can jack off with your feet in the air. You just can't get jacked off with your feet in the air. Oh, Mr. Rodney. Great times. So. See you. Love you. Bye. Thanks for the free tickets. Thank you. We'll have to go again next time he's here. All right. Let me know when you get home. Oh, so we're walking to the car. I just wasted a minute and eight seconds of space. But, oh, I ate way too much. I actually ate my whole meal. For freaking $20, I better eat the whole thing. And not waste any of it. But, it wasn't bad. I've had better. And, I've had better Red Lobster before. And, we're going to drive home and pick up the kiddo. This is like the longest we've ever been away from him, yeah. except for being at work. And only one scorpion baby boy. Yeah, it's time to go pick up Abel. And we may officially end the vlog when we get him and all that fun stuff when the night actually comes to an end, but we have like an hour and a half to drive. It's 10.54, so it's gonna be like probably midnight 30 by the time we actually get to my parents, if we're lucky. Uh, and we'll turn 
disturbed off so we don't get in trouble for Maybe different rights and copyright and everything so we're gonna end this maybe get a little bit more gas since it's cheaper here and uh, we will end the night hopefully on the right foot there they are I don't know if they saw me but okay bye so so we stopped to get gas and look who we find we just show up like bad penny. actually we were riding them the whole way here literally and figuratively and he liked it so we're gonna get gas and hit the road and race them home which they're gonna win because he has a lead foot and if I wreck Brittany's car she will kill me so get some gas and head home all right so we got to my parents pulled up right at 1230 look at that little baby and they've got new baby kittens oh. Oh, there's a little tiger like one that's gonna fall off the edge Olaf. Hard to beat in so we're going to go in. I picked this up for my parents, so I think it's on Netflix, and they've probably already watched it. But I figured, what the heck? But now we get to go pick up our kiddo. Something that we never thought we'd actually do is drop him off with Grammy and Grandpa. Have to come pick them up. Oh man, it's dark in here. Think he's awake? I'm not. I'll tell you that much right now. No, well, Grandpa's asleep. Grammy's awake. Is he asleep? Jeez, buddy. So he's been sleeping since. He's gonna be up all night. Hmm? So he's gonna be up all night. Could be. No, he was playing. Hmm? Buddy. He's like, oh man, Dad, thank you for saving me. I've had to put up with these crazy people all day. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Was he pretty good? Oh, he was real good. Say, like, I was so so. No. So we sit and talk. Hmm. Well, and talk. I think this is on Netflix, but I picked you up a copy, huh? a DVD. Have to give me nothing. Look at the no. back. <laughs> What's the, back? <laughs> the picture that was in that flyer. Jake, oh, but, but this kitty cat just. You know, Rodney Carrington. You know they both had a wing. Oh, thank you. You didn't mm -hmm. have to, though. I know we didn't have to, but you guys watched him so. <sighs> all right so I think I'm gonna end this vlog I'm tired not want to do it when I get home so it was another fun weekend uh, I got to see Rodney Carrington let me get some light on the subject and that's the second time that we have seen him uh, first time like I said was in Wichita at the interest bank arena a couple years ago or a few years ago so um, I said the show was awesome. He's hilarious. His jokes are far from family friendly, and that's the humor that I like. But um, yeah, I had a great time hanging out. You know, making that, spending what three hours total on the road with Brittany. Um, missed Abel. I won't lie. I was thinking about him nonstop, which is kind of crazy. But he's the center of my world now, and. Uh, super blessed to have him so always on the mind but being able to spend time with Brittany just us it's kind of nice takes us back to well, the last 12 years that we had and I've got kitty cat Halloween trying to say hello but um, and then had a great time meeting up with Danny and Brandon afterwards and even though Red Lobster's a little expensive it was really good uh, 50 bucks for two people that's crazy but we didn't have to pay for the tickets to Rodney so that's well worth it but anyways this cat keeps climbing up on me and petting me it's supposed to be the opposite 
But uh, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this, hit that like button. And if you have any questions or comments, or if you've seen Rodney, I'd love to hear your stories of when and where you saw him. So go ahead and you know put that in the comments section below. Um, and if you guys like seeing these, I know this is supposed to be more started out as my fitness channel, which I'm gonna get back more into doing different videos and stuff on that here in the next couple of weeks. But um, if you guys enjoy these family vlogs and outings and stuff like that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and again comment below. Let me know, you know, what you're enjoying and if there's anything in particular you want to see. Um, I'd love to, you know, try to do something that, you know, gathers or captures your interest a little bit more. And um, yeah, so again, hit that subscribe bit button. Uh, I think that's all I have for tonight. I know this is going on and on and on, and I hate cutting and trimming. I like to make it as raw and natural as possible. So um, you guys are great. I love your support. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. So until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Later.